Good evening, and welcome to our fourth annual night of Highlander Honors. My name is Robert Nixon, and I am the principal of Governor Livingston High School. I have the distinct honor of welcoming all of our friends and family who have joined us here this evening as we honor this impressive group of students who have accomplished so much thus far in their academic careers. We're glad you could join us here tonight. With all that being an educator entails, one of the true pleasures in this job is to take the time to recognize and honor the achievements of our students. As our students have achieved greater heights academically, the number of honor societies that we have become affiliated with has grown with them to date. We currently have 11 different honor societies that we're affiliated with here at Governor Livingston. Each honor society has had their own separate induction ceremony where students take their oath and are sworn in as members. In an effort to recognize all of the students who have earned entrance into these honor societies, we work to develop a program that would appropriately honor such impressive achievements. It is our goal and hope that this evening's program will do just that. Before we begin, I'd like to thank and acknowledge some very important individuals. I would like to thank the Board of Education for their continued support of our student programming. I would also like to recognize Dr. Melissa Varley, our Superintendent of Schools, and Mr. Scott McKinney, our Assistant Superintendent of Schools. I would also like to express my appreciation and thanks to all of the advisors and supervisors that you'll meet this evening for working so closely with us if we transition to what we believe is a great new tradition here in Highlander country. Finally, I'd like to thank the high school administrative team, Mrs. Bartlett, Dr. Petrosino, Ms. Clifton, and Dr. Janosco for all that they do to support our students. And in particular, Mrs. Oliveira, who worked closely with all of the students, staff, advisors, and supervisors to ensure that this evening would be a success. Thank you, and at this time, I'd like to turn the program over to Mrs. Oliveira, who will share a little bit about tonight's format with you. Have a great evening. Thank you, Mr. Nixon. Good evening. My name is Tara Oliveira, and I'm an assistant principal here at Governor Livingston High School. Tonight's event will be led by our Honor Society advisors, who will introduce themselves, their Honor Society, and share with us the criteria necessary in order to be eligible for induction into a specific Honor Society. We will then display our new honorees' names. We are very proud of the accomplishments of our school community, and now we would like to share with you our Highlander Honors Night. Good evening. I'm Dan McGovern, teacher of physics and advisor to the Science National Honor Society. The Science National Honor Society honors those students who have not only completed an introductory sequence of biology, chemistry, and physics, but have continued their science education studies here at Governor Livingston by enrolling in at least two advanced placement science courses. Congratulations to our new members. Good evening, this is Mr. Maselli. Ms. Bursler and I are advisors for Mu Alpha Theta. Tonight we honor the candidates that are being presented for initiation into Mu Alpha Theta, the national high school and two-year college mathematics honor society. It is an honor to be accepted for membership in this organization, which is over 1,800 chapters across the United States and in many foreign countries. Each of these students meets the requirements for membership, including work done with distinction in college preparatory mathematics. Active members of Mu Alpha Theta are required to continue their excellence in mathematics courses, maintaining their weighted math GPA above 3.75, and to represent our school in the New Jersey Math League and other mathematical contests, including the American Mathematics Competitions and American Invitational Mathematics Exams. Congratulations on all your hard work and achievements. Journalism is far-reaching in its aims, so today we honor the principle of truth, which journalism seeks ultimately 
It is the goal of our aims and aspirations for the world in which we live and that finer world of tomorrow towards which we strive. Individuals should place truth and the search for truth above all other ideals, especially as journalists and students in Quill and Scroll. It is the duty of Quill and Scroll members to take an active part in the search for truth by maintaining a high standard of journalistic ethics. Quill and Scroll desires to make membership an honor that will stand everywhere for the highest type of journalistic achievement. Today, we induct members of the Governor Livingston Journalism Program to the Quill and Scroll Society. Quill and Scroll was founded at University of Iowa in 1926 by renowned pollster George H. Gallup and a group of high school advisors for the purpose of encouraging and recognizing individual student achievement in journalism and scholastic publication. Today's inductees join a long list of amateur and professional journalists and leaders as they become members of this 94-year-old organization. Governor Livingston is one of 14,300 high schools in all 50 states, the District of Columbia, and 44 foreign countries who hold charters to Quill and Scroll. Inductees have been called here today because they have demonstrated worthiness for membership in Quill and Scroll. The ability that they have displayed in their work shows more promise for their future, whether or not they choose to enter the profession of journalism. Talent means little if it is not accompanied by hard work and productivity, as you have shown. Membership in Quill and Scroll involves responsibilities, which members must not forget. It's the duty to devote themselves to the welfare of the school and to any group or community to which they may belong in the future. To be a leader in a real sense, they must acquire a background for assessing and interpreting the events of the day, a major journalistic trait and to act ethically as they have learned. Hello, I am Michelle Harpster, GL art teacher and advisor for Governor Livingston's chapter of the National Art Honor Society. As part of what NAH does, um, it includes community service projects, hosting and organizing art events, fundraising, and creating venues in which students can showcase their work. All of our NAHS members embody the highest standards in art scholarship, character, and service. We are here to support their efforts as they continue to practice now and in the future. I have been honored to mentor and advise these creative and innovative individuals and I hope they carry the legacy of NAHS with them as they continue to reach their goals. Hello. My name is Nicholas O'Sullivan, and I am the advisor to the Triam Music Honor Society, chapter number 3745 at Governor Livingston High School. I am delighted to be here today to recognize our class of 2022 seniors. Triam students are students who have been continuously involved in curricular music throughout their high school career. To be eligible, students must have a 3.0 cumulative GPA and a 3.5 music average or a 2.5 cumulative GPA and a 4.0 music average and complete an advisor approved project or research performance project. Congratulations to our seniors. Bonsoir, mesdames, messieurs. Je suis très heureux de vous voir ce soir pour célébrer les accomplissements de mes étudiants et de vos enfants. My name is David Peck. This is my 21st year at GL as a French teacher. La Société Honoré de Français, the French Honor Society, falls under the jurisdiction of the American Association of Teachers of French, which was formed in 1927. Its purpose is to stimulate an interest in the French language and culture. 
In order to be eligible, the student must be in his or her junior or senior year of high school. He or she must be presently enrolled in a French course and have an overall average of A- for all French courses taken. These students are also responsible for tutoring underclassmen who are having difficulties in French. So as you can see, this is a worthy accomplishment and responsibility. These are the elite of the French program at GL. It's my honor to recommend them for La Société Honoraire de Français. Au revoir. Muy buenas noches y bienvenidos a nuestra ceremonia de iniciación de la Sociedad Honoraria Hispánica. Thank you all for coming and sharing this special evening with us. Tonight, we celebrate the commitment, dedication, and hard work of our highest achieving Spanish language fourth and fifth year students. The previous induction ceremony to La Sociedad Honoraria Hispánica was conducted entirely in Spanish in accordance with the requirements of our governing organization, the American Association of Teachers of Spanish and Portuguese, founded in 1917 and the first of its kind. La Sociedad Honoraria Hispánica is an academic organization admitting students who have achieved a cumulative grade point average of 4.0 or higher in Spanish language classes. Created in 1952, the mission of La Sociedad is to recognize and encourage academic excellence during the language acquisition process. Our chapter, named for the Mexican poet Amado Nervo, was established here at Governor Livingston in 1962 by Professora Señorita Tripodi. As part of their participation in La Sociedad, the new members and returning members will commit to peer tutoring as a means of sharing their talents and reaching out to the community. It is with great pride that I recommend and initiate these students into this prestigious fellowship. Muchas gracias. Buonasera e benvenuti. I am Signora Luciano, the advisor of the Italian Honor Society. The Italian Honor Society was founded by the American Association of Italian Teachers for students of the secondary level in the USA. It was founded by Mrs. Carmela Stone and Rose Masciarelli of the Port Chester High School in 1970. The purpose of this organization is to promote an interest in the study of Italian, to recognize its scholars, and to promote an understanding and appreciation of the civilization and culture. Students must have completed the third level of Italian and achieved an average of 90% or above, and must currently be enrolled in Italian. Good evening, parents, staff, and administration. My name is Lisa DeMarco, and I am the teacher of American Sign Language here at Governor Livingston High School. The American Sign Language Honor Society is governed by the American Sign Language Teachers Association. The ASL Honor Society recognizes students who have achieved academic excellence in the study of American Sign Language. Induction in the ASL Honor Society requires students to have an A average in their ASL courses. Once a member of the Honor Society, students are expected to perform five hours of community service, which is usually accomplished through peer tutoring for ASL students. A well-deserved congratulations is in order to the ASL students who have accomplished this honor. Thank you for joining us this evening. As with great pride, we've taken the time to recognize the great achievements of our students. I'd like to give a special thanks to Mr. Voorhees and his GLTV students who recorded this evening's event for us. We hope that you truly enjoyed this. Have a great evening. Thank you. <laughs>